Genesis chapter 37, New American Standard Version. Now Jacob lived in the land where his father had lived as a stranger, in the land of Canaan. These are the records of the generations of Jacob. Joseph, when he was 17 years of age, was pasturing flocks with his brother, when he was still a youth, along with the sons of Bilhah and the sons of Zilpah, his wife's father's wives, and Joseph brought back a bad report about them to his father. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his other sons because he was the son of his old age and had made him a multicolored tunic. And his brothers saw that this father, their father loved him more than all his other brothers, so they hated him and could not speak to him on friendly terms. Then Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. He said to them, Please listen to the dream that I have had. For behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and behold, my sheaf stood up and also remained standing, and behold, your sheaves gathered round and bowed down to my sheaf. Then his brothers said to him, Are you actually going to reign over us? Or are you going or are you really going to rule over us? So they hated him even more for his dreams and for his words. Then he had yet another dream and informed his brothers of it and said, Behold, I have had yet another dream, and behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars were bowing down to me. He also told it to his father as well as to his brothers, and his father rebuked him and said to him, what is this dream that you have had? Am I and your mother and your brothers actually going to come and bow down to the ground before you? And his brothers were jealous of him, but his father kept the matter in mind. Then his brothers went to pasture, their father's flocks in Shechem. And Israel said to Joseph, Are your brothers not pasturing the flock in Shechem? Come and I will send you to them. And he said to him, I will go. Then Jacob said to him, Go now and see about the welfare of your brothers and the welfare of the flocks and bring word back to me. So he sent him from the valley of Hebron and he came to Shechem. A man found him and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, What are you looking for? Jacob, uh, Joseph said, I am looking for my brothers. Please Tell me where they are pasturing the flocks. Then the man said, They have moved from here, and I heard them say, Let's go to Dothan. So Joseph went after his brothers and found them at Dothan. When they saw him from a distance, and behold, and before he came closer to them, they plotted against him to put him to death. They said to one another, Here comes this dreamer. Now then, come. And let's kill him and throw him into one of the pits and we will say a vicious animal devoured him. Then we will see what will become of his dreams. But Reuben heard this and rescued him out of their hands by saying, let's not take his life. Then Reuben said to them, shed no blood, throw him into the pit that is in the wilderness, but do not lay a hand on him so that later he might rescue him out of their hands to return him to his father. So it came about when Joseph reached his brothers that they stripped Joseph of his tunic, the multicolored tunic that was on him, and they took him and threw him into the pit. Now the pit was empty without any water in it. Then they sat down to eat a meal, but as they raised their eyes and looked, behold, a caravan of Ishmaelites were coming from Gilead with their camels carrying labdanum, resin, balsam and myrrh on their way to bring them down to Egypt. And Judah said to his brothers, What profit is it to kill our brother and cover up his blood? Come and let's sell him to the Ishmaelites and not lay our hands on him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers listened to him. Then some Midianite traders passed by, so they pulled him out and lifted Joseph out of the pit and sold him to the Ishmaelites for twenty shekels of silver. So they brought Joseph into Egypt. Now Reuben returned to the pit, and behold, Joseph was not in the pit, 
So he tore his garments and he returned to his brothers and said, the boy is not there. As for me, where do I go? So they took Joseph's tunic and slaughtered a male goat and dipped the tunic in the blood and they sent the multicolored tunic and brought it to their father and said, we found this. Please examine it to see if it's whether your, it's your son's tunic or not. Then he examined it and said, it was my son's tunic. A vicious animal has devoured him. Joseph has surely been torn to pieces. So Jacob tore his clothes and put on sackcloth undergarment over his waist and mourned for his son many days. Then all of the sons and his daughters got up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted. And he said, surely I will go down to Sheol in mourning for my son. So his father wept for him. Meanwhile, the Midianites sold him in Egypt to Potiphar, Pharaoh's officer, the captain of the bodyguard.